Okay, so we're taking a look at a, a yet another problem. There's going to be several of these problems. I, I don't know about anybody else, but I really struggled when I got through these problems. Just didn't really understand how to do it until I fully understood, in fact, what the chain rule was saying. And so it says, at a, at a sand and gravel plant, sand is falling off a conveyor and onto a conical pile at a rate of 10 cubic feet per minute. The diameter of the base of the cone is approximately three times the altitude, and that should be times. Uh, at what rate is the height of the pile changing when the pile is 15 feet high? Okay. So. Now, it doesn't say it specifically, but we can go ahead and assume that this is going to be a right cone. And so we've got uh, kind of a, a triangular look to it if we're looking at the sides. Okay, And it's kind of got a, a, a circular base. It's so well I can draw here. And it extends to the back. That's a hidden line. And so we have this value R here. And we have this value H here. And we know that the volume of a cone is equal to one third pi times R squared H. Okay. So because the volume of a code is or of the cone is that, uh, this is where I kind of I, I kind of like to just go ahead and solve this implicitly, but um, as we look here, the base of the diameter of the cone, or the diameter of the base of the cone is approximately three times the altitude. Okay, so that means that if we do this here, and now notice that it's 15 feet high, we're talking about in height, and so the diameter of the base, so the diameter is 2r, is equal to three times the altitude which means that r is equal to 3 halves h. So wherever we see an r, let's put in 3 halves h. So we have now the new volume of the cone is going to be equal to 1 third pi 3 halves h quantity squared times h. So this means that the, uh, the volume of the cone then is going to be, this is 9 fourths times 1 third is 9 twelfths, which is 3 quarters pi h cubed. Okay, so that really simplified things, telling us that, in fact, the height is, uh, uh, or the radius is roughly three times the, uh, the height, or the diameter is three times the height, really helped us because it really simplified things down for us. Not always does that happen. And so now we're going to go ahead and, and find out just how quickly the volume is changing with respect to height. And so we're going to take this and we're going to say, all right, Take the, deri the time derivative of both sides. And so our 3 quarter pi comes out of the derivative. The derivative of h cubed with respect to time is 3 h squared, the derivative of the outside, times the derivative of the inside, which is dh dt. All right, and now the amount, it's cubic feet per minute. The, um, so uh, if we put the things down that we know, we know that dv dt, the, the amount that we're changing the volume, is equal to 10, and h is equal to 15. Now, you got to make sure that your change, for instance, cubic feet per minute, is the same is in the same measurement as your height, which is feet high. So everything's in feet, so that's good. Now, let's go ahead and solve this. So we have 10 is equal to three quarters pi, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and multiply that three in there and help our cause a little bit. So three times three is nine, so that goes up top. And then we have pi h squared, so this is 15 squared, dh dt. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to try to try to kind of eke some of this stuff out here. And so I have uh, 10 is equal to 9 times 225. I have no idea what that is, but it's going to be big. And so uh, we're looking at 2250 minus uh, 225, so it should be 2025. 
So it should be 20, 25 pi over 4 dh dt. Okay. So now this is going to be 40. So we have 40 over 2 or 2025. Uh, Okay, I was just making sure my mental math. I was like, oh no, I don't have a calculator. Uh, is equal to dhdt. There's little tricks for that, and maybe I'll, I'll address that in a different video. Uh, okay, so both uh, top and bottom are in fact divisible by five, and so I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of clean this up a little bit. And so my first one, I'm going to divide both top and bottom by five to get eight, and this becomes uh, 405. And now 8 is nothing but 2s, and I can't pull a 2 out of the bottom. And so here's my answer. 